not like this. Guys, today we're going to some estate sales and I just realized I left my memory card to my main camera at home. But nevertheless, we're still gonna proceed and see what we can find on another estate sale extravaganza. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we have arrived at the estate sale. I'm about to GoPro up. The line is long as hell, so uh, yeah, we'll see if I even get in on time and what I find, but hey, I'm already here. It's early. It's time to see what's going down, daddy. Let's get it. Another estate sale episode. Woo. Hopefully we find some stuff. Okay, so we're in the mix, man. This was a pick us paradise, literally. This person had to be a hoarder of some variety. I got in after like 30 minutes of waiting outside and the house was absolutely packed. But y'all know, I had a rush with the quickness to the master bedroom and I was looking for hats up in here and luckily I stumbled across a couple. I got this Texas one. Texas, baby. And then I also have this little like diesel fishing or some shit like that but now it's time to make my way into the closet my natural habitat uh, a lot of women's clothes that's unfortunate but i did get this little boone county historical society crew neck it kind of tickled my fancy and i figured i might not find jack else so <laughs> i was like i'm just gonna hedge my bets on this one little piece so i uh, saw my homie ash and then I made my way to the back of the house because I had to keep exploring. I did see on the pictures there were some like NASA hats, but I figure whoever got in there early definitely got them things. But I still was peeping every closet I could. And look at that. Ooh, this is tough. Yes, sir, indeed it is tough, man. Got that little Looney Tunes hat twick. And then I was interested in this Peruvian poncho, but it was $50 and hell to the no, no, that's too much to pay in my humble opinion at the get-go at an estate but then i saw the blood red carpet unfortunately this was a christmas room which is always a disappointment i don't know what it is with these older folks but they had hella christmas decor good god is that the shit y'all found yeah good lord there's a bunch of big take them whatever's in there dude dickinson Okay, if y'all unfold these, fold them back up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> <laughs> I told Patrice, I said, we need to just get one of those big old oh bins like at the God. bin store yeah. and just throw everything in it. Bro, that custom? Yeah. The whole family? What's the crazy, the crazy shit y'all got? <laughs> Come on, there gotta be some top pieces. All the Columbia tea. That's pretty cool. Oh, that is hard. That is hard. Bandanas. Like you're finding some stuff. Yeah, something like that. You gotta keep digging. I know, I know. You That's the up. mission. That is the mission. You just gotta keep digging. I mean, yes, we man. Put out what we put. Hey, and keep digging. Y'all know I did. I found a couple cool shirts. The national flag of Texas. This is pretty sick. But the main reason I'm voicing over this little section is this lady went in depth about her grandkids, where they go to school, their family history, their living situation, and I just didn't know if that was appropriate for the video. But back to the lecture at hand, there were some cool secondhand clothes, don't mess with Texas little beach cleanup shirt, absolutely scrum diddlyumptious, and then they had this one, man. The BHP Beach Dash 1990 what? Y'all know it. Seven. Seven. That was a must cop. Now I also went through a couple more of the t-shirts and i found this banger right here the atlantis 125 astronaut encrusted t-shirt threw that on arm and then i had to depart because it got crowded in this room my dude so as i proceeded down the hall i saw another room that tantalized me and this one definitely had some creepy jesus and priestly pope imagery oh no nah. they also had a little rocket and while i made my way down the hallway i had to pick up this tweety 1992 hat twick poster and uh yeah scoop that dude up and put it in a whole pile then i walked into the garage and man there was a ton of odds and ends up in here to say the least it was pretty overwhelming walking to a situation like this and y'all know i like clothes not really knickknacks or patty wax but there was a lot of stuff to look at such as this cool little polaroid camera and then uh they also had some apocalypse gear this nice hatchet to of course decapitate a zombie or something of that nature now i kept walking through the garage and i was greeted by these uh human made bird nests and then y'all can see out the corner of my eye I spotted that little Winnie the Pooh and there's a whole kids section right here. The I don't want to grow up half broken propeller hat had to get it. 
And then I kept contemplating, man, there has to be a hidden gem in the mix. And boy, was I right. I hit the squat real quick. And in this bin, there was a nice little ting for the win. Y'all see, I'm like a hummingbird attracted to the color red. Dude, 1989 Ninja Turtle Vintage Snapback with the slight bite taken out the brim. Got that for the win. And also this handcrafted and carved Jesus in a nice hardwood tree branch or trunk. I had to grab that. I need some blessings in my life. Oh, Lord. Okay, guys, we jumped out the estate sale. I got a bunch of stuff. I brought my digital camera, but I did not bring a memory card. I left the house in a hurry, but I did get some cool stuff. I'm just gonna show y'all a couple other things that I picked up. All right, so this dude I got for the crib, hand carved. You have Jesus, motherfucking Christ, made out of wood. I did grab this Looney Tunes hat twick. Three goals, baby. This was $5. Look at that dude right there. Get it wide angle. I got a bunch of shirts. I did end up picking picking up this jersey's custom made face encrusted cardigan and this nice little card I'm gonna frame up. And I do have kind of a Western brown themed room I'm gonna do, so this guy will go in perfectly. Perfect. I got some buttons as well. She put them in here. I don't know where on earth they are, but probably my favorite item despite the fact that it's damaged is this ninja turtles vintage snapback a rat definitely bit the hell out of this master splinter was snacking on some snapbacks i mean we got a lot of stuff up in here we got bumblebees that are interested um but yeah all of this i got for like i think 72 dollars, so not bad all right so we've arrived at the next spot man this is another estate sale i saw a bunch of starting lineup items and we're kind of in the country right now so there is a fat amount of cars and a nice line. So we're gonna see what's going on inside. My heart always starts palpitating, bro, when I walk up to these stores. But we got the GoPro. So without further ado, let's hop up in it. What's up, Paul? What's up, baby? What's good with you, man? You good? Buenos dias. What's going on, y'all? Lord knows I need some of that. That's gonna be your oh, room, I bet. And if you bet, you are correct. Yeah, dig. So I made my way up the stairs and into the toy room. Look at this. Planes, trains, automobiles. A beautiful cheetah in her natural habitat. Yeah, they got a lot of toys in here. And me stating the obvious, of course. So Simpson stuff, starting lineup figurines, classic 90s bangers, a mermaid. I give up two legs or one tail. I can tell y'all that right now, straight up. But a lot of these things were priced at retail. And you guys know, I don't really resell goods. I'm more into the clothing and collecting for my personal residence. But dude, these shelves were stuffed to the brim. I mean, check out this Rocketeer cutout. Hella, hella cool. And then I saw these dudes, and my God, a blast from the past for real. I have these Power Rangers in my childhood, and I still have a couple of them, but they are outside the box. They were 25 bucks a pop, so I felt like I didn't really need them, but they were definitely a noteworthy thing that was in here. They had this old little robot as well, a ton of matchboxes and Hot Wheels, but I decided to boogie on and back down the stairs. I was in a hunt for the master bedroom. Shout out this guy with his dog too. That's pretty cool, man. His dog doesn't miss the sales. That makes me feel like a bad pet owner. But check out this little living slash dining room area. There is electronics, this cool little ex machina looking model and she does have some milk bags on her. I'll tell you that much right now. A nice Skeletor and then the formal room with all the cutlery. I just had to do one lap around the house to get a nice little uh, sense of my surroundings, you dig? Oh my God, that is hilarious. Right? I used to have all those Power Rangers upstairs as a kid. Did you really? Yeah, like all of them. This guy was a professor at Alvin Community College for like 30 years. I wish I had had him as a, as a professor. <laughs> a yeah, it seemed kind of cool, huh? Very cool. He was an artist and a teacher. And seems like lived a really cool life. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, Except for the collection. Eccentric collection. And then I saw it, my guys. Ooh. The 10. This is Betty Boop right here. Ebony boop right there. Drop dead gorgeous. Somebody animate me so I can go ahead and lay down some pipe work. Yeti! But yeah, you had the Betty Boop poster as well. And then I turned and I saw it. The master closet. 
lit up like heaven man beautiful yellow lights <laughs> incandescence and they did have a bunch of jeans i was looking for some old school levi's did not have any of those in the closet but as i proceeded i started to heat up when i stumbled across this a bird encrusted shirt are you kidding me this guy was in touch with nature too and loves him some art what is this me in the past is this my home where, where am i right now they have some nice autobahn society vintage t-shirts this all embroidered pirate oh, shirt as well and you guys know if y'all want any clothes thrift type vintage dot com look at these are these penguins i don't know man i need to get i need to get on board with my bird identification i'm telling y'all i am slipping they had this hummingbird t-shirt as well in the ornithological society oh man say that three times fast you cannot dude and then another one this person's wardrobe consisted of almost exclusively bird related t-shirts how cool is that and then you have the guy fieri <laughs> a little visor right there with the built-in hair then i found this warbler woman hat clean and also houston autobahn had a cop and then the mickey mouse bag this was 20 but don't worry i got it on 75 percent off day y'all know i come in so clutch and have the patience but then this oh my god i've always wanted this shirt i've always wanted this shirt well now you got it banger <laughs> banger I like that these people are into birds and stuff. Yeah. I was on my phone looking at birds before I came in here. Like, seriously. So funny. It's very ironic. I don't need no clothes. <laughs> Lord knows I don't need any clothes. Squirrels? Dude, they got that plant to nature stuff right here. Lord have mercy. How much is that Betty Boop? What? The Betty Boop cutout? Oh. Oh, Kevin! Yes, Kevin! Kevin! As much as Betty Boop, the big one. The big one. Moment of truth. Yeah. Dude, she was only 40 bucks, so you know I had to grab her for the personnel collection. And then I went in this bedroom and there were tons of posters. As was previously stated, if you have an artist in the building, you know their house is going to be eclectic, is going to be cool. And they had so many unique posters. Barnum and Bailey circus posters. Multiples. They had paintings. They had prints. A little of this. A lot of that so much cool stuff but the posters were extra awesome i got my mom this amazing florida amtrak poster the graphic was so crispy on that that's going straight to the mom this nolan ryan poster i got this guy on half off day it is an old school nike poster the colors are just flawless on it man that thing definitely was tickling my senses of course i had to get the george o'keefe y'all know what that is Please, YouTube, don't demonetize me. It's art, okay? So I copped that one for my sister and her girlfriend, and then this right here is awesome. The George O'Keefe. I felt like this was more my girl's style. The nice bull head, if I could actually keep it down with the flowers, this does form something as well. If you guys really can pervert your mind. I'm gonna get Betty Bopper. Oh, good. And then I put all the posters on hold with my giant pile of clothes this is really cool isn't she that's what i studied in school is art so just seeing all the oh, artists and too. yeah all, he the... Did all kinds of collage and stuff in the outside didn't disappoint either as i said these people were some nature lovers and i was thoroughly impressed man they had a proper garden look at all the freaking bees going ham out here what is this all these butterflies all these bees Dude, this is live. Oh my God, guys, that sale went crazy. I was walking back to get my second load of stuff, but I mean, you guys can just can just check it out. I got hella stuff in here. I had to get that warbler woman. <laughs> oh, it's just such a funny hat. They had a bunch of nature items, like nature hats, nature shirts. You guys know I am super into the natural world. I have a whole nother channel called Paul Plant 2 that is linked in the description where I do gardening and I like creating habitat for birds bees, pollinators, insects, mammals, everything, just for my own visual pleasure. So yeah, it's super crazy, but I gotta go back in and get the rest of my stuff. Okay, so here is the rest of my stuff. We're back at my house right now, and uh, yeah, I went back to that estate sale. 
Oh, 75% off day and I got a bunch of really cool things. And you guys are used to seeing clothes, but I got art in abundance and objects. I did get this vintage railroad hat by Otto. The fit is crazy. But guys, just check out some of the things I purchased. Speaking of the natural world, butterfly identification, butterflies of Houston, a guide to birds, birds of North America. So when I look out in the backyard, I know what's going on. They had a ton of Autobahn all embroidered patches. So I'm gonna customize some hats and clothes. You see all of these, now multiply them times two. That's how many I did grab. I got the Bill and Hillary Clinton people first. Yo, Hillary was kind of a thing back then. And don't even get at me, guys. This is not a political channel. I don't care what your opinions are. There also is this um, Hopi Land Santa Fe poster, super cool. Amtrak Southwest. Now this is what I really wanted. And it was originally, the retail value was 75 on it. And I did get it for 75% off. Oh man, it was more than worth it in my humble opinion. I think it was like around $20. Got this really cool graphic of this vintage magazine. This Van Gogh I purchased on the first day. It's a skeleton is smoking a cigarette. You have the great train robbery poster, which is super cool. Again, this guy was like into trains, nature, and art. Very nice, but yeah. Last but not least, some of the grails, man. I got this pig skull right here just for some decor and then this dude this orangutan skull is absolutely nuts all right it is a replica this did not come from an endangered species that's very similar to us in nature this is a really cool skull though oh just check it out i mean you can take the whole top off very clean it's gonna look nice with all the plants i have growing on in here then of course i had to get one starting lineup for the win babe ruth and lou gehrig so yeah if you guys enjoy this video please hit the like button i went crazy i did get a lot of bird shirts a lot of other things but i just wanted to show you all the art one time for the one time because it was incredulous incredible and awesome so yeah until next time let's dream eat that ice cream i'm locked i'm loaded and i'm gone peace Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life by roosting And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to